Hey there, and welcome to Wake Me Up. I'm your host, Tyler, as always, and I'm so glad that you chose to be here today. Productivity is often seen as a positive quality that we should all constantly strive for. I know that at least in America, we're raised to believe that overworking is a badge of honor. So doing activities that make us feel truly fulfilled are oftentimes pushed to the wayside in the name of productivity and the chase. The thing is, productivity doesn't equate to fulfillment, happiness, health, or a meaningful life. But life is short, so we should all be prioritizing the things that make us feel alive. The things that make us feel so good, we radiate happiness to others. So on theme with this week, we're going to be talking about the importance of filling your own cup. By the end of this episode, I'm sure you'll feel inspired to live a more meaningful life, one that's true to yourself. But before we dive in, just take one moment to pause. Take a few slow, deep breaths in and out. And as you do, bring to mind something that you really love to do, an activity that you almost always look forward to. Perhaps it's something simple, like sipping coffee on a quiet morning, or maybe it's something completely different. Whatever it is for you, just envision that now. The happiness and the joy it brings and how it fills you with energy. Acknowledge that this activity, this thing that you love is a gift. Send it a silent thank you now. Let's take one more deep breath together. So inhale, fill all the way up, and then exhale, release. And if you're in bed, use this moment to roll over and make your way up and out of bed. Feel free to go about your morning routine making your coffee or tea, having a stretch or going for a walk, anything that you like to do with your morning. And while you do that, I'm gonna circle back to that idea of filling your own cup. Have you ever taken an intentional break, but found yourself feeling anxious about getting back to work or feeling guilty for not being as productive as you want or should be? If so, don't worry, you're not alone. Hustle culture has pervaded for a long time, at least in the Western world. As children, we're told to work hard and get good grades, and that will set us up in life. We come home from school only to have more homework to do until dinner and bedtime. It seems as if we have no time for play and exploration in comparison to how much learning and work we have to do. And that tends to stick with us as we grow older. It often leads us to serve the interests of others before we serve ourselves, our bosses, our neighbors, our family and friends. When you fly on an airplane, the flight attendant instructs you that in the event of an emergency, you need to put on your own oxygen mask first before helping others. And that's true throughout life as well. We can't serve others we can't fill the cup of others if we're holding an empty cup ourselves. And being aware of how we've been shaped by society is important in this regard. Without being more aware, then we can't change our lifestyle and we can't change the collective conscious that surrounds us. Because of the hustle culture that so many of us are accustomed to, we often lack the understanding of how to take time for ourselves and how to naturally express ourselves. We have to relearn how to be creative, mindful, curious, and naturally authentic. Mindfulness comes 
when we find an activity or hobby that fulfills us. Without even trying, we fall into a flow state. We begin to express ourselves without worrying about it. Think about your passions and your creative outlets, how focused and mindful you are when you're doing them. Think about that encompassing feeling of gazing at a sunset without a hurried bone in your body or losing hours deep in conversation with a good friend. These moments, while for some of us are few and far between, are what make life worth living. These kinds of things are what provide us energy. They fill our cup. They bring us meaning in life. So we need to slow down and invite more of them in. Filling your own cup creates a ripple effect that impacts all other areas of your life. You'll feel more energized because you're making time for things you enjoy. Your relationships will improve. You'll smile more and you'll be bothered less by life's unavoidable intrusions. We should all spend at least a little bit of time every single day filling our cup with what feels good and makes us better humans. This has always got to be a priority. And what you love doing is highly personal. So be sure to look inside to figure out what that is. You don't need to listen to others to figure out what's meaningful and fulfilling to you. Imagine that your energy could be held in a cup. You could share it by pouring into others' cups and vice versa. You can do things that drain from your cup and things that refill it. What's important to realize here is that nobody's cup is bottomless. This isn't brunch, y'all. So we have to remember to fill our own cup each and every day. Otherwise, we have no energy to put into life, no energy to give to others. Now, not everyone knows exactly what fills them up, and that's completely okay. There's always time to learn, and what fills you up will change over the course of your life. We are all refilled by different things, and your uniqueness is important. So look inside yourself and let your intuition guide you as you invite more of what fills you up into your life. Remember, the things that you love don't take time. They give time. They give clarity, focus, awareness, and happiness. They don't take life. They give it. So don't feel guilty for simply living your life and filling your own cup. Don't feel anxiety for taking a much deserved break. And recognize that every day is different. One day, laying around and reading a book may be exactly what you need to fill your cup. Other days, a tough workout may have the exact same effect. So practice self-awareness and lean into that natural ebb and flow of life. There's nothing selfish about cultivating joy from the things you love. It's said that you have to fill your cup to pour from the overflow. In other words, take care of yourself first so that you can take care of others afterwards. An overflowing cup undoubtedly creates a ripple effect in the world. So spend time every day doing what you enjoy and don't deprive yourself of happiness purely in the name of productivity. No matter how busy you are, you can always find time to revitalize yourself, even if that means making some trade-offs. Prioritize what will refill your cup so that your life is fulfilled. Make time for yourself now so you don't have regrets later. And lastly, put yourself first so the whole world can benefit from all of the wonderful things that you have to offer. Well, that's all for today. Thanks so much for tuning in and joining me here. It really means the world to me. I'll be back tomorrow for a series of positive affirmations on this same theme. So I hope to see you there. Until next time, go out and have an absolutely 
fantastic day.